Compression hip nail system. Place the patient on his or her back on the table and position the imaging device C arm so that the AP and the middle of the aorta are visible to confirm the fracture site. Make a 5 cm incision from the tip of the great trochanter to the top. Incise the gluteus medius fascia parallel to the skin incision line and stretch the gluteus medius muscle along the grain. Place the protection sleeve, multi-hole drill sleeve, and trocar at the end of the great trochanter at the insertion point. Then remove the troca and insert the guide pin through the drill sleeve. Remove the protection sleeve and multi-hole drill sleeve and insert the primary awl along the guide pin to create the initial entry path for the reamer. After inserting the open reamer with the protection sleeve into the guide pin inserted previously, perform reaming. Since the reamer is twisted in one direction, it must always be operated in the same direction, otherwise the reamer can be damaged. Assemble CHN nail and assemble handle with assemble bolt using assemble bolt driver T-type or L-type. Before inserting the nail, select the proximal target device with angles of 125 and 130 on the right and assemble it to the assembly handle. Check the direction of the locker first. Check the insertion point and function of lag screw sleeve and distal locking sleeve. Using your hand, gently insert the CHN holding the assembly handle into the femoral opening. After confirming the reduction of the fracture, insert the nail until the axis of the lag screw hole is aligned with the lower half of the femoral neck. The impact handle is used to apply great force, but the hammer must be used carefully as it may cause microfractures in the bone. After checking the direction of the locker, insert the lag screw set and rotate it clockwise until it touches the bone. Remove the trocar and advance the guide pin through the drill sleeve into the femoral head, stopping approximately 10 millimeters below joint level. Using the imaging device, verify the guide pins are correctly placed on both the AP and lateral sides. When inserting the compression lag screw, the anti-rotation pin in the proximal target device can be installed on the left and right sides and in the lower center to prevent rotation in case of very unstable fractures. When installing it in the lower center, the locker screw must be removed. To determine the length of the lag screw, Remove the drill sleeve after checking the depth to the cortex at the tip of the protection sleeve through the guide pin using a direct measuring device. Adjust the cannulated step drill and step drill stopper to the measured depth, 100 millimeters, and perform reaming. Make lag screwdriver set by combining lag screwdriver, lag screwdriver outer, and coupling screw. For lag screws, there are two kinds of compression lag screws with a sliding range of 10 mm and 15 mm, and flow lag screw that can inject bone substitutes. The oblique cut prevents irritation on soft tissue and pain at the compression distal end. When the lag screwdriver outer lever has no compressions, it may be difficult to reach the correct compressions later unless it is fully rotated counterclockwise and pressed against the lag screwdriver. Assemble the compression lag screw by matching the top direction using the lag screwdriver set. Then, assemble the coupling screw by turning it clockwise. The end must be tightened with the lag screw. Insert the lag screwdriver set into the protection sleeve and turn it clockwise until the top is positioned at the upper part. The lag screwdriver outer must be turned clockwise to get the desired compression. 
When the desired compression is achieved, assemble the set screw to the set screw driver. After that, insert the set screw along the opening of the assembly handle and confirm that the set screw advances until it reaches the nail. Make the flow lag screwdriver set by combining the flow lag screwdriver, coupling screw for flow screw, and flow lag screw pusher and fasten the flow lag screw. Match the top direction of the flow lag screw with the flow lag screwdriver set, then turn it clockwise to assemble. After turning the coupling screw clockwise, tighten the end of the coupling screw with the flow lag screw. Compression can be performed by turning the pusher clockwise. When the flow lag screw is applied, assemble the set screw to the end cap driver after compression is completed. After that, insert the set screw along the opening and fasten it until it reaches the nail. To inject bone substitute, prepare the injection device, injection sleeve, and injection pusher. Inject the bone substitute into the injection sleeve and insert it through the protection sleeve. After that, use the injection pusher to ensure that all necessary bone substitutes are delivered to the bones. Assemble the protection sleeve set by combining the protection sleeve, drill sleeve, and trocar. This allows locking at the distal end either dynamically or statically, depending on the fracture pattern. After the incision, insert the protection sleeve assembly. Remove the trocar and drill the cortex using a 4.3 millimeter drill bit. Remove the drill sleeve and insert a depth gauge through the protection sleeve to determine the length of the end screw. Fasten the 5.0 mm nail locking screw through the protection sleeve using a screwdriver. Separate and remove the assemble handle shaft and proximal target device by loosening the assemble bolt. Insert the end cap using a screwdriver. Make sure to tighten the screwdriver tip with the end cap by turning the coupling screw clockwise. Implant removal. Remove the end cap using a screwdriver. Remove the set screw using a screwdriver. Insert the flow lag screwdriver into the lag screw hole and turn the screwdriver counterclockwise until the screw is completely removed. Assemble the lag screw remove driver into the lag screw hole and turn the bottom knob of the driver until it engages the lag screw. Additional locking is available from the top knob of the screwdriver. Use assembly extract bolt or assembly extract bolt with a tip and fix it into a screw thread at the top of the nail. Remove the distal locking screw using 3.5 mm hexagonal screwdriver. Assemble the ram mallet and extract bolt before attaching to the extract bolt. Slide the ram mallet over the extract rod and tap it to remove the nail.